It is Wednesday evening, December 6th. We welcome you to the Midland Civic Arena for high school hockey on MPS TV as the HH Dow High Chargers play host to the Midland High Chemics. Alongside Mike Vesna and Cody Kiefer, my name is Jason Harper. And guys, tonight we've got a matchup of two teams that are undefeated, albeit early in the season. The Dow High Chargers coming in with a 4-0 record. Midland High coming in at 3-0. Both teams coming off very successful weekends at a showcase tournament just a few days ago. And Vesna, the Dow High Chargers at 4-0 under veteran coach Dick Blasey, now in his 15th year as the head coach for the Chargers. And... The Dow High Chargers, a team that like to move the puck. Absolutely. Dick's goal coming in, as he told us earlier, was get the puck up the ice and get it fast. High pace, high tempo game, out of his zone, into their zone. Key, pucks on net. That's what the Dow High Chargers are looking to do. They want to move things as quickly as possible. The other side of the coin, the Midland High Chemics, who come in at 3-0 under second-year coach Steve Witt. And Cody, the Midland High Chemics, kind of the opposite philosophy tonight. Absolutely, yes. They want to slow things down, have more transitions, more turnovers. Um, uh, Dow's got some speed, so Midland's got to really attack and uh, sit back and wait. And early in the season, but, the, you know, Whenever you got the Midland High Chemics and the Dow High Chargers, it doesn't matter if it's early in the season, middle of the season, late season game. You know they've got emotions. They've also got friendship. A lot of these players, especially the freshmen and sophomores, have played hockey together for the last couple of years. Absolutely. Uh, but tonight, they're suiting up for their school colors. You've got a packed house. you got fans that they cheer for every big hit. So these guys like to hear those crowd cheer. So I'm expected to see uh, some big hits early, try to set the tone and see what happens. For the Midland High Kimmicks, Cody, they've been getting some impressive play from a sophomore by the name of Matthew Babinski. And if you've been around hockey in Midland, you know the name Babinski. Yeah, that's right. Uh, they got a, quite the tradition in Midland here and for, uh, for hockey in the name. So. It'll be interesting to see how he does tonight. We're getting set to go. High school hockey on MPS TV. We've got a great crew of MCTV volunteers, close to a dozen staff and volunteers ready to bring you high school hockey here tonight between the Chemics and the Chargers. The first meeting of the season, as we mentioned, is very early. These two teams just started. In fact, uh, for the Midland High Chemics, they have not played any place but the Midland Civic Arena. So this is their first away game. But in essence, it's still a home game. Absolutely, and you know they're they're used to this Olympic ice. You know when you want to slow things down, the last thing you really want to do is play on the Olympic ice because it is a little bigger. But you know what? It is their home rink. It's that home rink. So throw that right out the window. Well, Cody, talk a little bit about the difference. Obviously, we're used to the Olympic sized rink that uh, we have here in Midland, although. The south rink here at the Civic Arena is the NHL size, which is what most of the rinks are that these high schools play on, except for the games here at the Civic Arena. So talk about the difference between the Olympic rink and the NHL sized rink. Yeah, uh, playing on the Olympic rink uh, actually can have a lot of differences. One of the main things is you have a lot more time and space. So when you have a lot more time and space, guys tend to stay on the outside because they think they're not being pressured. But in all reality, they're just spreading the ice out and not giving themselves the best opportunity to attack the net. So we might see that a lot, a lot of perimeter play rather than getting to the hard areas, getting to the dirty ice and making plays. And so when you have a fast paced team, a team like Dow High that wants to play up tempo and you've got a team like Midland High that wants to slow the pace down, the Olympic rink benefits who? I would absolutely say the faster team because they're going to get their wheels going and try to blow right on by them where you know, in an NHL, you're you're trying to slow things down. You can pinch off on the boards. You can make them stay in the middle where you can control them a little bit better. We'll see uh, if the path holds true or if uh, one of these coaches has a little wrinkle in their game plan as we get underway. Right now, let's turn things over to our public address announcer for the starting lineup.
Playing defense, senior captain number 20, Johnny Meyerson. Playing defense, junior number 22, Shane Nistra. Forward number two, sophomore Alec Newton. Playing forward number six, senior Brendan Sander. Playing forward number 13, senior Casey Larue. Midland Civic Arena and set to go with high school hockey on MPF TV. Jason Harper along with Northwood hockey coaches Mike Vesna and Cody Kiefer. Hal Richards by my side to provide stats tonight. Of course, a dozen MCTV volunteers all bringing you this contest. The Dow High Chargers on your screen right now. 4-0 ranked number 10 in Division 2 taking on the 3-0 Midland High Chemex. The Chemex will be starting in net. Uh, a freshman goalie, Luke Buza, getting the start tonight. Yeah, surprised to see going with the uh, freshman, but why not get him used to this? Big game atmosphere. You have to experience some time. Might as well get it out of the way The uh, for Midland High, the fourth game of the season. Well, then again, being not this is not the second of the game, so why not see what he can do? The officials for tonight's game, Ryan Coletto, Justin Schaefer, Joe Knopic, and Doug Cook. Two referees and two linesmen for the high school contest. The Midland High Chemics in new uniforms this year for their home game. Kind of the alternate uniforms for tonight's Dow High wearing white and Dow High winning the faceoff as Casey LaRue, the senior, tries to forward it by looking for Alec Newton. In the middle, Midland High trying to clear neutral zone, and the first shot on goal comes from all the way from the center line. Midland High will send it down to the other end. The first icing call, just 19 seconds, 21 seconds into the, uh, the contest. The 16-41 uh, here in the first period. Midland High, their uh, starters, Chris Kia Metz, Dylan Sarai, Nathan, w Nathan Witt, Tommy Pritchett, and Noah Eller. The starting five for Midland High, Dow High with Alec Newton, Brendan Sanders, Casey LaRue, John Bayerjan, and Shane A. Strike, Jeremy Slater is in goal for the Dow High Chargers. Interesting to note, Cody, is that the Dow High Chargers decided to move Shane A. Strike, who was their leading scorer a year ago, moving him from forward to defense tonight. The Dow High Chargers in control. They go across the blue line. And a shot on goal from the right-hand side delivered by Shane A. Strike, who may be playing defense, but still expected to get a, a few shots. He uh, will move up during power plays as well, according to Coach Dick Blasey. Yeah, Dick Blasey figured he could do some best on defense right now just to settle things down. But you know some of your best offensive players starting in the defensive zone. First penalty of the game 
is going to come just a minute into the contest, and we're going to have a flashing call in the uh, in the corner of a couple of uh, players who are tied up. It's going to be Shane A. Strike, who we were just talking about, the junior that will go into the penalty box for a slash. A minute and two seconds into the contest. Yeah, Midland uh, kind of caught a break there. Dow came out hard. You could see what their game plan was to obviously get pucks on net, and they, uh, I think they accomplished that in the first couple minutes. So here's an opportunity for Midland. So the faceoff goes down to the right of Slazer, the Dow High goalie, the Dow senior for the Dow High Charger from the Midland High Chemics, winning the faceoff, but having difficulty keeping it in the zone. In fact, the Dow High Chargers will be able to uh, clear it out. Midland High's Travis Grimaldi, the junior, ends up losing the puck. The Dow High Chargers ends up knocking that down into the uh, Midland High zone. The Chargers are expected to be aggressive, even when shorthanded. Dick Blasey not afraid to uh, to move players up and, and gamble, roll the dice from time to time. Yeah, especially on a, on a penalty kill when you get a couple of your better players out there. Quick little turnover, try to get a shorthander. 15.33 to go, opening period. No score yet. Chargers had a couple of shots on goal, but they're down a man right now. Midland High on the uh, power play. The battle is going to be uh, won by Midland High as Pritchett takes it across to center ice. That's the sophomore, Tyler Pritchett, feeds it over, and a shot on goal coming from the right-hand side. Travis Grimaldi getting the shot for the Midland High gimmicks, and the Chargers will clear it out. Two Pritchett's playing for Midland High. Tommy is the older, he's the senior. Tyler happens to be the sophomore. The coach's nephew is playing for Midland High. Nathan Witt got the start. Meanwhile, Dow High coach Dick Blasey is coaching his son, Luke, for the first time. It's a family affair for the Dow High Chargers. Luke playing on the ice, and Dick's daughter, Anna, is one of the managers. Right now, Brendan Sanders working it across for the Dow High Chargers. 35 seconds left in the power play for Midland. Sanders still controlling the puck. Will now try to go across over to Joey Johnson, the junior. And the Midland High Kimmick goalie, Luke Buzo, will kick it free. Midland High will try to move down the ice, trying to take advantage of the power play from the middle and losing the handle on the puck. The Dow High Chargers coming away with that 15 seconds. On the power play of the Chargers work shorthanded in the Midland High zone. In neutral life, another penalty coming, and Midland will have a five on three advantage as Dow High's Garrett Brillhart goes to the penalty box. Yeah, that is interesting, especially being down the man. That was uh, kind of a play that you don't want to take right there, but hopefully, uh, we'll see what happens. It'll only be a five on three for nine seconds, but still, the Midland High Chemics will have a great scoring chance. Less than three minutes into the contest. The faceoff down to uh, the right of Flavor. The puck is dropped. Midland High winning the faceoff. Won by Matt Babinski. He's just a sophomore for the Midland High Kimmich. Been a couple of big games last week for Midland High. The first power play is done. The Dow High Chargers move down. Austin Geiter to the right-hand side. Got a good hit off the boards. And both of these teams battling around as Midland High continues to be on what in essence will be a, a four minute power play. The first penalty is over, 90 seconds remain in the penalty to Brillhart. Yeah, Midland High not doing a really good job of being able to hold the puck in their attacking zone. Dow real quick on the puck and it cleared. Matt Babinski loses the puck near the Dow High bench and the Chargers will drop it all the way from center ice. Forcing Luke Buza to go down onto a knee and stop that shot. Midland's got to gain some control here and get some speed through the neutral zone to try and generate some offense. Chargers playing shorthanded. They'll move the puck into the Midland High zone. Center it up, and Luke Busa is going to cover it up. And this is not what you want if you're the Midland High Chemics on the verge of a four-minute power play. They've only got uh, one shot on goal during this power play. Yeah, like I said, they, they seem to be sitting back a little too much. I think they really got to regroup, gain some speed. The neutral zone's open. They just got to take advantage. Face-off one by the Chemics. We'll see if they can take advantage. Good defense there by Joey Johnson. Sends it back into the Midland High zone. 40 seconds remain. There's a hard shot from the right-hand side. 
Offline will send the puck all the way back down to the down high zone, but the Kimmich back in the neutral zone. The Chargers able to clear it out. 30 seconds to go in the power play. 12 and a half minutes to go in a scoreless first period here at the Park Place Homes Arena inside the Midland Civic Arena. The Kimmich taking it across. The shot taken by Chris Diamant, the junior, was high, kept in by Nelson. Kate Nelson flips it over to Nathan Witt. Witt will go back over to Nelson. They were looking to, for Tommy Pritchett on the right-hand side. And the Dow High Chargers are out of the penalty box. A successful four-minute power kill for the Dow High Chargers. Yeah, not exactly the start Midland High wanted to, to be given a gift of, like you said, four minutes of power play and not able to generate really a scoring opportunity at all. Now well, we've got another uh, penalty coming up down in the uh, in the corner. This is going to be a roughing call. That is going to uh, the Dow High doors open. Send the Chargers again into the penalty box. This time Joey Johnson is going to be called for the rough. So within the uh, the first six minutes and plus of this game, three Dow High penalties. And Coach Blazy will not be happy. He can't get any offensive attack going when you're all you're doing is killing penalties. It was a successful power kill the last time around, but again, the Midland High Kimmick right back on the power play after the roughing call to Johnson. Dow High penalty, number 55. Two minutes for roughing. Nathan Witt with the puck for Midland High will go into the neutral zone. Babinski will skate it down. Babinski leading the skate in. Backhand and a kick save made by Slaver. Rebound is off net. And the puck ends up going into the corner. Midland High looking to center it back up again. Skating it in but knocked away. Nice defense there by the Dow High Chargers combined with Slaver's kick save. And back down the other end the puck goes. Yeah, Babinski doing exactly what uh, Cody Kiefer said. Get some speed through that neutral zone and attack the zone. 11 minutes to go. Midland High, Babinski skating through again for the Midland High Kimmich. But Babinski behind the net, but could not get anybody uh, to center it to. Had a couple of players near the Dow High net, but unsuccessful in getting the puck to him. Third back out again. This time, Tommy Pritchett was looking for Dylan Sarine. Sarine will keep it in, but the Kimmich's on a line change. Dow High looking to clear it out, and the puck ends up in the netting that will end up going into the end of the crowd with 10 and a half minutes to go in the first period. 40 seconds remain in the Midland High power play. Yeah, it's really hard to, to sense what type of game we're going to see here with Dow, three penalties. You don't necessarily expect that, but no, no real good up and down flow to start so far. Hopefully they can gain some momentum off this kill in three in a row if they can uh, get out of this one. Definitely. The faceoff won by Midland, but it ended up getting hit too hard and goes out of the zone. So the Midland High Kimmich will try to regroup. 30 seconds left in the power play with the team's battle on neutral life. And the Midland High Kimmich, Dylan Sarine, trying to keep it into play, dump it into play. Instead, Dow High will send it down the other way. Midland High not able to get the puck into the zone. Good hard hit. Into the corner, now the Dow High Chargers. Pritchett had it for a moment, but knocked away by Garrett Brohard. Brohard tries to clear it, Midland will keep it in. Shot on goal from the left-hand side, rebound, and Dow High will be able to clear it. Chargers out of the penalty box, but now their successful power kill for the Dow High Chargers. And again, minimal number of shots for the Midland High Gimmicks on the power play. Yeah, Coach Witt's not going to be about happy about that. Three power plays, and I'm not sure they got a quality scoring opportunity out of any of them. Midland High across the ice this time around. Babinski again. He's the main stick handler for the Midland High Kimmich. This Babinski. Matt following in the footsteps of older brother Kenny. Had a chance to talk to uh, him over the weekend. He was in town watching uh, some hockey of the showcase tournament. Yep, he's uh, had a great college career, good junior career, and now he's joined the working world with the rest of us. Midland High, Squire, Tanner Squire, just the freshman who's looking to clear it out. In fact, Squire does dump it back in, but the Midland High gimmicks will go for a little bit of a line change. 
Chargers coming back down the other way with Austin Yider trying to thread the needle to find a shot. Yider looking for a backhand, and now we've got a tripping call that is going to be going against Bufa. And the Midland High Kimmick will be in the penalty box for the first time tonight, and we'll see how the Dow High Chargers work the power play. Lots of penalties back and forth. Uh, I think these guys need to calm the nerves a little bit and get some, get some flow. Well, let's take a look at this, Cody, as uh, Bufa tries to fave and then... Uh, yeah, just gets his stick caught up in his feet there. It was a good job by Dow to get the puck from that, though, going to the dirty areas like I spoke about earlier. So the penalty on the goalie. 8.36 to go. First power play for the Dow High Chargers. Midland 0 for 3 on their power play. Yider taking a shot and a save made by Bufa. Nice high shot by Yider. Yider's going to fire up to it again this time. He's looking at the right hand oh. side, shot and a goal! Luke Blasey scoring for the Chargers! They get tipped off a of Midland High player and they go straight in. I'm not sure, I thought it went straight in. Well, we'll take a look momentarily as Blasey celebrates the coach's son coming away. Let's see if it was tipped or not. The shot's gonna come from the right hand side of your screen. Yeah, just a good shot through a screen. Uh, good puck movement, walks off the wall, drives the seam, and buries it. So Luke Blasey picking up the power play goal for the Dow High Chargers at the 8.22 mark of the first period. Now Millen High looking to end for Pritchard with a backhand. Save made by Flaser, another shot. Couple of quality shots. That goal by Dow High may have sparked a fire in Midland High if they come back down and pick up a couple of shots on goal. Yeah, it's the best little uh, two shot sequence Midland High's had all day. Hard hit into the uh, right in front of the Dow High student section. Another hard hit this time. Bodies it, flying everywhere now. Exactly. The uh, the physicality picking up a little bit as Blazy will take it across to the Dow High Chargers. Blazy fires again. This one to the left hand side. Yet the lifelong friendships, they're done. Now we've got it basically where we got ourselves a game. Midland needed a little spark to wake him up and unfortunately came at the hands of a Dow High goal. That's right, yep. Good pressure by Dow right now. Uh -oh. yeah. the, uh, we got a Dow High player down. The assist, by the way, on that last Dow High goal went to uh, Joey Johnson, the junior. Blazy with the goal. Johnson with the assist. The Dow High player that was down is back up. One to nothing in favor of the Chargers. 6.50 to go here in the first period. Well, I can tell one thing with that successful power play, the way they set it up and got some quality screens and blocks and quality shots. Finland's going to want to stay out of the penalty box. Puck seems to be bouncing quite a bit for both teams here. They can't really get a grasp on it. Well, if one of these teams were a visiting team, you might say that if you know the bounces of the uh, Civic Arena, you'd have an advantage, but both teams are used to the bounces. Bufa had to send that puck, assist that away as Casey LaRue was coming in for the Chargers. Another penalty now, coming. Uh, we've had a lot of penalties here in the first period. This is the fourth penalty of the game. It's going to be an interference call against, uh, I believe, against the Midland High Chemex, although uh, I'm not sure yeah, uh, Witt. Steve Witt is uh, so sure about that one, but it's going to be Nathan Witt. He is the nephew of Coach Steve. Nathan Witt will go into the penalty box for an interference call. Last time it only took uh, less than 20 seconds for the Chargers to capitalize on the power play. Dow High on their second power play of the game and they win the faceoff. Send it back to Joey Johnson. He'll work it over on the opposite side and shot taken there by Sean Byershawn ends up uh, being Blocked by Bufa, and the Midland High Chemex will be able to send it down to try to regroup. Well, we call them a back check shot. You come down, you try to pick the corner, you miss. All it does is allows you to back check and go get it and try again. Johnson again skating right into the uh, Midland High zone. Johnson's got it behind. Johnson will center it up over to Alec Newton. Newton in the middle, takes a shot, had a screen in front of him, but Bufa able to make the save. 
couple of players jockeying for a position right in front of Busa. Johnson again will send it over to the corner. Back to Johnson. Across ice. Over to Bayerjan. Bayerjan shot. Busa again making the save as the puck goes up in the air. Blinksy with a second chance. That one is off target. A minute to go in the down high power play. Just over five minutes here in the first period. Charger centering, Blasey again had a backhand shot and Buza is gonna cover that one up. A lot of scoring chances for the Chargers. Good movement by uh, Del High there. They, they got the pucks moving, people in front, screens. Midland's just gotta settle down, contain themselves. And uh, right here is a, a draw that is very important for the Chemics. They gotta win this draw and get it clear. High school hockey on MPS TV. Jason Harper, Mike Vesna, Cody Kiefer bringing you the action. When we get a moment, we'll run by dates and times. If you're just tuning in, that you can watch this game in its entirety as the Dow High Chargers have the puck behind the net. Midland High looking to clear it. Noah Eller can't do it. Dow High doing a good job keeping it in. They've got 35 seconds left in the power play. From the right-hand side, losing the handle on the puck. Again, Midland High's Eller trying to clear it in the corner, but the Chargers have the numbers advantage, and Dow High will keep control of the puck. Shane Strike will work it out. Over to Newton, now back over to Johnson. Johnson centers it up over to Byerjan. Byerjan with a nice pass right back to Byerjan, but that pass was off target. Yep, threw it in his feet a little bit, tape to tape, and that's a heck of a play right there. Five seconds to go. Dow looking for one final shot. Brendan Sanders will work it over to a Byer shot. Byer shot shot is off target, and uh, the puck ends up covered up by uh, Busa. I think it went I, off the net, but I think it was a slow whistle. Caught up in someone's pants, I believe. Oh, is that what it I, was? I don't think anybody knew where the puck was. Uh, Busa was looking up behind him, and uh, the uh, the power play done for the Midland High gimmick successfully killed that one with just over four minutes to go. Well, 17 minute periods, you've had 10 minutes worth of penalties. Not a lot of five on five up and down action so far. Yeah, both teams, uh, Dow High three penalties, Midland High two penalties, but it's the Chargers that are on the board with a Luke Blasey power play. There's a shot taken by Johnson, but was deflected by one of the defensemen. Very hard to get in a groove, especially when you're up and down, power play, penalty kill. Get everyone involved, it's really tough, so hopefully we can see some action. Now the Kimmicks clearing it out and will dump it into the down high zone. Slafer will kind of clear it out to the right hand side and goes right back into the neutral zone. And that one's going to go all the way down for an icing call with 3.29 to go. And we will let you know if you're just tuning into this game. Dates and times here on the channel 189 on MCTV, Thursday, December 7th, 8 o'clock in the morning, 8 o'clock at night, Friday, December 8th, 8 and 8, Saturday, December 9th, 8 and 8, Sunday, December 10th, 8 and 8. You just got to remember the number 8. 8. 8. Check out this game on Charter or UVerse, and it'll also be available on the MPF YouTube channel probably about a, uh, a week or so. So a chance to check the action, the Kimmicks and the Chargers if the winter sports season is underway. Hockey tonight, we've got basketball coming your way in a couple of weeks as well. Sloppy defensive zone. That should have been right up and right out. Yep, little miscommunication there. We'll see if the Chargers can take advantage of it. Blasey's got the puck behind the net. Blasey goes to Byerjan. Byerjan with a nice hesitation. Kick save made by Buza. Byerjan again. This one deflected away. Several scoring chances were down. Now the Kimmicks will come down the ice. We'll see what Midland can do. Tommy Pritchett looking to skate it in. Ed Babinski of a trailer centering it up. And there's Go a Midland High goal. Nathan Witt. From Witt. front and center. Witt putting it in for the Kimmick. Late trailer coming in. Got lost. All the Dallas guys collapsed down low and he was wide open right in the slot. Make no mistake about it. He took that shot and he buried it, just like he's supposed to do. Let's take a look. And that was uh, perfectly designed for, for Nathan Witt. If, uh, yeah, but look look here, you got one, two, three, four, five Dow High guys, all within 10 feet of Slazer. Nobody picking up that trailer, like Keith said. 
Nice shot by Witt, but somebody should have been out there on him. Agreed, All yep. Midland High, oh. another scoring oh. chance. Oh. Then. Going around the right hand side, Midland High. Seems to be energized by the uh, by the goal. Nathan Witt getting the goal. Matt Babinski and Tommy Pritchett with the assist for Midland High. Under two minutes to go, all tied up. Bufa trying to cover it up, couldn't do it. Chargers firing another shot. That one, well, we got a, a whistle. I'm not sure if that covered. It seemed pretty quick to me. I saw the puck pop free, but ref must have lost sight of it. Yeah, uh, Dow did a nice job attacking the net. Midland High, though, just sitting back, kind of watching a little bit there. Great scoring opportunity. Dow is using their D really effective in this first period. They're getting the pucks up and they're getting people to the net. That is a, a huge advantage that they have over Midland right now. Definitely, if he could get some five on five up and down, I think that's definitely going to play into their favor. Midland High will skate the puck from neutral ice into the zone. Pritchett with a shot from just inside the blue line, and Flavor will cover that one up. That's tricky dangerous right there. That puck just kind of fluttering a little bit. Go down, and those more times than not, that goes right through that five hole. Nice job by Slazer, making sure it did go in. Midland will win the face off. Shot taken by Midland High for Cade Nielsen. That one to the left hand side of Slazer. Dow High trying to clear it out. The gimmick only uh, about one or two shots, and then Chargers will clear it out the other direction. Centering it up. Fire shot. Uh -oh. oh, reflection. Missing the net the first time. The puck right there on the left hand side, and it stayed right there on the left hand side, and now Icing will send it back the other direction. Great job by the goalie getting back, tracking the puck, and being able to make that second save. That was close. Yep, but on your heels instead of your toes right down there in front. If he's on his toes, that's an easy tapping for Dow High, but Booza coming up big. And that was a uh, great great scoring chance, Bezzi. And Cody, look, look at where the... That was a, a, a moment after where that yep. puck just kind of... Uh, we played a little late, but... Was, was right there where... Uh, where Boofa will call it skill. Dow High fans may call it luck. Either way, the puck no doesn't go in the net. Under a minute to go here in the first period. A strike with a shot. Glove save made by Boofa. It was a good step right there by the Dallas defenseman. I believe it was Johnson stepped up, made a good hit, created that turnover in transition. Luke Booth has been tested often here in the first period, especially on the power play. He's only let one goal slip in. Luke Blasey with a power play goal for Dow. Nathan Witt with the goal for Midland High. You talk about uh, families that have spent a couple of hours in the uh, at the hockey rink. You talk about the, the Blaseys and the Witt. Yep. There's a shot taken from the right-hand side, centering it up again, and Bufa will cover it up. Here's a quick whistle again, wouldn't you say? Yeah, another quick whistle. Booza's on top of his game right now, though. He's really keeping the Chemex in it. You wonder if you accumulate the hours that Blazy and Witt have spent in a hockey rink. <laughs> they, they may spend more time in the hockey rink than they do at home. I think, yes, their wives, so sometimes they'll agree. Although they're usually here with me. Under 30 seconds to go here in the first period, the Midland High Chemex with the uh, puck. Dow High trying to clear it out. It was kept in play by Midland High. Look at the center it up to Babinski. Babinski's had a couple of shots, but he's been relatively quiet tonight. Under 10 seconds as the puck goes into the corner. It'll be cleared out by the Dow High Chargers. Icing has been waved off, and the first period comes to an end here at the Midland Civic Arena, and it, it, it ends the first period similar to how we started, all tied up. This time one-to-one, -one, each team getting a, a goal in the contest. And uh, gentlemen, uh, the first period in, in the books, and your thoughts? 
I'll, I'll, uh, I'll jump on the Dow High side here real quick. I don't think Dick Blazy is going to be happy. First of all, those three penalties. His team couldn't get any flow going, couldn't really use his speed and try to you know, blow through the, the neutral zone and get pucks on net. I think he's going to have his team settle down and start moving the puck a little more. Now, Cody, shots on goal in that first period, a 10-shot uh, differential. Dow High had 16 shots. Midland High had six shots. Dow High, a lot of those on that power play. Yeah, what, what I thought Dow High did very well was they're, they're creating second-chance opportunities. So I, I mentioned earlier that they're utilizing their D. They're getting pucks on net, but they're getting people there to bury rebounds and have at least a second-chance opportunity. Where on the Chemex side, they're relying more on the rush. They're coming in, and they're kind of staying in that perimeter that I was talking about earlier as well, just putting pucks on net, but there's really not any second chance opportunities. And the uh, the Midland High Chemex, you know, they couldn't capitalize on some early power plays, but as the period went on, Vesey, we saw Midland High getting a little more confident. Well, it's almost like they woke up. You know, you were playing that wait and see kind of game, and they just didn't seem to have the uh, the emotional adrenaline to start this game. You know, kind of like the Detroit Lions, they, they, they need uh, to go down yeah. before they can, you know, kick it in. That's exactly what it kind of looked like to me with the Chemex, is that they just weren't prepared to play from the start. The first period comes to an end. The uh, Dow High Pet Band here at the uh, Civic Arena will take us into intermission. The first 17 in the book. It's the Dow High Chargers won, the Midland High Chemex won. This is high school hockey on MPS TV. The second period is coming up. back the Samboni has done its job and we're ready to go for the second period high school hockey on MPS TV the Midland High Chemex the Dow High Chargers all tied up one goal each if the Midland High Chemex come back onto the ice Luke Buza the Midland High Chemex goalie facing uh, 16 shots in period number one coming away with 15 saves heavy pressure by Buza and uh, Jason Harper, Mike Vesta, Cody Kiefer with you for this contest. And gentlemen, uh, first period is done, so let's put your coaching hats on for a moment. And let's start off with the, uh, the Dow High Chargers. You scored the first goal on a power play. You let one uh, go a few minutes after that. What was Dick Lacey's talk like? Play your game. Uh, and stay out of the penalty box. Simple. The, the six minutes of penalties, they were never able to get the flow going. Once they uh, got on the power play, sure, they moved the puck nice and, and, and did some good things, but they need to get their speed going, turn it on, and don't look back. If Cody, if you were the uh, Midland High Kemet coach, what would your locker room talk like? Um, I, I'd be okay right now just because they weathered the storm in the first period, but they definitely need to establish some pressure. So they got to get some pucks deep, establish a four check, and create those second chance opportunities. There's a look at Jeremy Slaver, the Dow High Charger goalie. Both of these teams playing short handed tonight. In fact, the, the Dow High Chargers have three players that are out injured. The Midland High Chemex, meanwhile, missing uh, one of their starters and Matt Gross, who is serving uh, game number two of a, a two game suspension. He was disqualified, involved in a little skirmish uh, during their game last Friday. And high school hockey, Vesey, it's two games that you have to sit out, not one game. Yeah, and that's definitely hurt him because he's one of their leaders, their seniors, one of their better scorers. They're going to miss him. Chargers have, you know, a couple of players. They're missing Lucas Churchfield, who is, who is out, and Jeremy Brooken, both players that contribute for the Dow High Chargers. They're out with various uh, injuries as well. So both teams a little shorthanded. As the second period gets underway, Midland High will be skating right to left. Dow High left to right. Sloppy. You know, Slaver ended up with that puck. Uh, you know, Pritchett kind of directed it towards Slaver. There wasn't really a shot, but Slaver ended up with it. Yep, but they got they established that they had the first guy going hard. He ended up kind of creating a turnover that ended up on net. Just underway here on MPF TV, a great MCTV crew 
about a dozen staff and volunteers dedicating their Wednesday evening to bringing high school sports to the airwaves. And so that puck is going to go all the way down and will we'll return to the Dow High Zone. While we have a moment, let's let you know about uh, all the action this winter on MCTV. We've got Midland and Dow boys and girls basketball coming up on December 19th. We've got wrestling coming your way in early January. And of course, we've got this hockey game in the second meeting in early February as well. You can join all the fun and become an MCTV volunteer by, uh, that will let you know momentarily how you can become a volunteer. But right now, if you want to watch it in, uh, you know, high definition, be sure to check out the MPF YouTube channel. We're not in 4K yet, but we're working on it. it takes time. We are, we are in HD though. I think will be waved off as it uh, went across the stick of the Midland High player. Midland High's Travis Grimaldi looking to keep it in play as it goes around the corner. The, well, that one was uh, off the stick of a Midland High player. Dow High able to recover it. Austin Yider well, looking for a blade feed, but instead will go into the hands of Dylan Sarine for Midland. That was not free. Yeah, going for the old drop pass. Unfortunately, his teammate wasn't the one he dropped it to. First couple of minutes of this second period seems like uh, both teams may not have exited the locker room quite yet. No, Midland High definitely getting with the better scoring opportunities. Dow High just looking a little sloppy to start. Offside call there for the uh, Dow High Chargers. will stop the clock at 14.53. First goal of the game was a power play goal. About halfway through the first period, Luke Blasey from Joey Johnson for the Dow High Chargers. Midland scored with about two minutes left in the opening period with Nathan Witt picking up the uh, the goal for Midland off of the assist from Matt Babinski. Puck in the neutral zone and kept in the neutral zone by the Dow High Chargers. Shot taken from near center ice with the Midland High Chemics. Bufa kind of put it behind his own net so the Chemics could do something with it, but Dow High's Jared Zahn had another idea. Now it goes into the neutral ice as the Chargers try to recover. You've got a game here that, you know, not only do we have teams that know each other, especially the underclassmen for both of these teams have played hockey together for years, as we've got a whistle into the boards, but we've also got two coaches that grew up a year apart. Dick Blasey, one year older than Steve Witt, but these two uh, men know each other. And they've known each other since they're about 10 years old. Yeah, and I had the uh, the luxury of roughing against them and everything, so I got to kind of watch it grow up in front of my eyes, too. And great competitors love the game of hockey. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, Dick Blasey played on the uh, or, uh, Steve. Steve Witt played with uh, Dick's brother most of his uh, playing career. We've got a stoppage as uh, not exactly sure what the stoppage is. Oh, it looks it's like a, we've got a ref in the box fixing uh, fixing a skate. That may be uh, so the issue is. So. Yeah, and early on, I mean, Keith, I don't know if you've noticed too, but it looks like Dow's just content dumping the puck and going to get it. They got uh, control going into the attacking zone, but they want to play that dump and run game where Midland High has been able to get it out so far. Yeah, they're uh, they're definitely just dumping and, and going after it, but there's no there's no second level. So once they're in, like you said, Midland's just making a quick, easy breakout pass and they're going. Um, so it, it's it's been an interesting start for sure. Yeah, I mean the, the philosophy: if you got the puck and you got open ice, keep skating. Absolutely. Yeah, the issue is a uh, equipment issue with. Uh, well, there's one four of, of them out there. Well, now there's only uh, three because that uh, that Ryan Coletto that is uh, learning how to tie your skates in the uh, the Dow High box. That he is. All right. They just keep putting more and more of those referees out there on the ice, don't they? <laughs> well, yep. <laughs> remember, remember, it was only uh, you know two two officials. That was back in your refereeing days, yeah, Jesse. Absolutely. We were good enough to do it by just two of us. <laughs> then they, then they went to you know three. Now they're now they're going four. Yeah, it just keeps costing more and more money. But you know what? It does help keep an eye on things. 
The object is to have some good up and down hockey. Uh, obviously, they've tested it at all levels. And uh, the high school's choosing to do it this year, or at least for this game. Well, while we have a short break in the action, let's let you know that the game is being covered by MCTV volunteers. If you'd like to become an MCTV volunteer, all you have to do is uh, call that number on the bottom of your screen, 837-3474. You can also go to the uh, City of Midland website, slash MCTV, find out how you can become an MCTV volunteer, a uh, little couple of orientations, and you can work on production such as this. You can produce your own show as well. All kinds of fun. You can become an MCTV volunteer. And uh, we have been promised that the uh, basement of the library will open in 2018. All right. May, I'm not going to give a month, but it will open in 2018. Dow High with the... Uh, with the puck, it was Garrett Brillhart tried to fit it up, kept into play by Johnson. Now cleared out for the now high charge. Uh -oh. the regroup. There's a, there's a giveaway. We gotta have a trip on Tanner that. Squire. No trip. No, 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 trip. Uh, no penalty. Somewhat, uh, somewhat surprised after the Dow High defender lost his footing. Squires was uh, all set to take it in, and he ended up losing his footing as well. Dow High had three penalties early on in the first period. Since that time, they've been uh, out of the penalty box. Midland High with two penalties. Dow High with one power play. I thought that was going to be a break there for Midland High. Let's take a look at uh, what happened there. Well, there's the Dow High defender looping his footing, and there is the, yeah, that's, yeah, that's oh, a clear, away with clear one there. trip. You know, you can say he's playing his, the puck all he wants, but that was definitely a skate to stick breakdown. Dow High coming back in the other direction. Carter Bean for the Dow High Chargers. That's the name that we haven't mentioned. He's a senior for the Dow High Chargers. Chargers trying to keep it in play if they battle the end of the corner. Now the puck will go around the other way. Good hard hit by Blasey, sending a Midland player into the uh, corner and the puck cleared out. Midland High keeping it into the uh, down high zone. Isaac Daniel, just a sophomore, trying to get a shot on goal for Midland. Now Witt taking a shot. Kept in by Dylan Sarine briefly, but not completely. And the Kimmix had to uh, retouch up to avoid an offside call. That gives the Chargers the puck down the ice. Carter Bean trying to center it up, knocked away by a Midland High defender. Kimmicks will come back the other direction. Sarine across the blue line and will lobby it towards Slazer, who makes a save. A shot taken from the right-hand side avoids the net. Yes, yeah, Slazer giving a beautiful pass over oh. to Sarine. Unfortunately, that uh, should have been deflected into the corner. A couple of Chargers interfering with each other, so they'll have to regroup. That gives the Midland High Kimmicks a, a chance to possibly set up their play if Dow High begins to give a little bit pressure, but the puck goes down the ice. Icing was waved off. 11.20 to go here in the second period. All tied up one to one between the Kimmicks and the Chargers. First of two meetings between these two teams. Dow High looking to keep it in. Around the right hand side if they battle into the boards. Chargers will come away with it, trying to center it up, but the Midland High defender there, and then Garrett Brohart will keep it in the zone for the Dow High Chargers. Now Travis Grimaldi from Midland will look to clear it out, and a hard hit right in front of the Dow High student section. Midland High moving down on the right-hand side, and it'll be covered up by Jeremy Slazer in goal for the uh, Dow High Chargers. This will be uh, one of only two meetings because these two teams will not be meeting in the postseason for the first time in a long time because oh, wow. they're in different divisions. Oh, that's true. Midland High bumped up to Division One. The Dow High Chargers currently ranked number 10 in Division Two. Well, that'll be different. In the terms of the Saginaw Valley, everybody seems to be chasing Flint Powers. 
who's playing in Division Three. <laughs> Valley getting spread out. The battle in neutral ice at the bottom of the screen and down into the Dow High zone. Here in the second period, about seven minutes into the period, Cody, and we still really haven't seen uh, a big momentum swing from either team. No, nothing yet. A lot of neutral zone play, get pucks deep, but then just easy breakouts. There hasn't really been a, a game-changing opportunity or anything in this first half. Both teams getting a chance to uh, put some fresh men on the ice. If you look at the Tau High Charger bench, Watch Dow, they're going to get this puck back and they're going to send a guy. They've been trying to work this play all game, sending that left winger out and trying to slap that puck around to him. Yep, just doing a fly wrap on every draw. Midland High reading it well, though. Nice job by uh, Grimaldi. Here we go. Scoring chance and the backhand taken by Austin Yider goes wide of the Midland High net. Battle continues in the corner, a lot of play in that near corner during the course of this game. That one was, well, headed, our, it was headed our way. The net stopped it, but Al Richards had his goalie glove on. He was our stat man tonight. He was ready to make that save if it was coming our way. The protector. Souvenir. Took away our souvenir opportunity. There's a good look at Matt Babinski, the sophomore for the Midland High Kimmich. Faceoff will go behind the net of Midland High. Freshman Luke Busa in net for the uh, Chemex. Try to clear it out. Chargers will keep it in play, centering it up, and it goes to the left-hand side, back into what has become the favorite corner. Lazy doing a nice job keeping it in play, and the shot from the blue line ends up in a glove save by Busa. Yep, saw it all the way, though, so nothing really, uh, no, no traffic down there. Dow throwing pucks on that, but nobody down there to clean it up. That was a good job by Blasey, too, the, uh, the third row support, and it being able to pick that off and get it back on net. Let's take a look. Yeah, nothing uh, without. Yeah, it's like the parting of the seas. Nobody screening, nobody getting dirty. And uh, icing call off of the face-off, stopping the clock. At 9.05, one to one is where we stand with the Kimmicks and the Chargers. Well, during our pregame, we talked about the fact that Dow High wanted to play uh, more upbeat and a uh, quicker pace than Midland High. So far, about halfway through this game, who's uh, got the advantage? Uh, right now, I'd say Dow High's uh, got a little bit of an advantage. Shot taken by Byers, shot and a nice job there by Chris Guillemet. He's a junior, did a nice job blocking that for the uh, Midland High Kemet. He and Matt also have the best hair out on the ice. Well, him and Booza. Just don't see Booza's flying so much. That's true. I'm still going to give he and Matt the, uh, the best hair. Oh, yeah. He gets to get his flying. Now, Steve Witt is Here we uh, go. Here we go. The, a breakaway. the Midland High Kemet looking to go down. Shot taken and a gut save made by Flavor. And now a little uh, extracurricular battle. On the left-hand side, I believe that was Shane A. Strike tied up uh, with uh, Matt Babinski. You don't think Dow knows who's number two is? Yeah, exactly. No penalties called. Now, you know, with that, that hair, Steve Witt is an, 80, is an 80s rock fan, so, you know, that may uh, come into play. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, just an easy outside save or outside shot for a save. And then on the left-hand side, the uh, little hugging little of uh, how you doing between uh, Got a strike and Babinski. Yeah, I'd like to see Babinski try to, you know, put his shoulder down and get around him and bury that, at least battle for position a little harder. Yeah, he tries to drive the net there. He may be able to draw a penalty or uh, create at least a second chance for someone coming in late. Dow High skating across the center line. and. They will dump it in behind the Midland High net. Tried to be kept in play, but it was then. But Dow High looking to recover. Another icing. Nope, we got a tip. 
Cal High having a little more difficulty here in the second period of uh, keeping the puck in in the zone. Millen High has had a couple of breakaway opportunities. Yeah, Kemick's doing a good job clogging the middle. And uh, Dow just kind of rather trying to work through it, just trying to throw it at the net. Dow High keeping it in and a stick save made after the Casey LaRue shot. LaRue is a senior on the Dow High team. In fact, Dow High with several seniors. There's a shot taken by Shane A Strike, but how about another one by A Strike? That one never got through. Centering it up again, and the Midland High Kimmich will be able to clear it out the other direction. Tommy Pritchett will skate it down the ice for Midland. Pritchett will put a shot and a save made by Slazer. Pritchett looking to center it up, but nobody was there. And the Dow High Chargers with the puck. Reversing directions and sitting it all the way down the ice, and icing will be called. Yeah, neither team really being able to, to do any tic-tac-toe passing drills or anything. Just a lot of turnovers going on right now. No real good flow. Uh, some scoring opportunities happening because of it, but most of them I wouldn't call quality scoring opportunities as much as just putting pucks on net and nobody there for rebounds. Yeah, I think Midland High has definitely got to do a better job just getting puck possession, especially in zone. Try and work them down low. Everything has been high and outside. They had possession. They won the faceoff, but they couldn't keep it down into the zone. Now Millen High will skate back. Matt, Matt right Babinski goes across the center line. Babinski trying to beat his defender, but it was knocked away by a strike. Now a strike will skate back across the blue line for the Dow High Chargers. Dow High wanted a penalty call, did not get it. A strike thought that he may have been hooked, but no penalty. Kimmich will clear it out. Good chip there by Babinski. Tyler Pritchett, his shot goes wide of the net. Tyler's the younger of the Pritchetts. Tommy's the older one. Now the Dow High Chargers. John uh, Byer Jean looking to feed it maybe to Alec Newton. He instead will take the shot himself, but it's like one pass, one shot, and you know, Midland High breaking right out. Yeah, a lot of that's what I'm talking. A lot of one and dones here. We gotta get some uh, some chaos and some, some creativity. All the scoring came in the first period. We've had a scoreless second period. 5:20 to go here in the second period. And another icing call. Yeah, just just no real good flow going right now. Um, everybody's just kind of playing that wait and see kind of game. How high might get a shot, or they might get a wide shot. Midland High breaking it out, going down, taking an outside shot. Nobody crashing net. No big rebounds. I guess we're getting our up and down, just no constant pressure. Well, you got to imagine that you know sooner or later somebody's got to take a gamble, maybe try something different, and we'll see if. Uh, Either team is willing to gamble. Dow High's got a, a little bit of a breakaway here. Luke Blazy on the left hand side ends up uh, being defended well by Travis Grimaldi. Dow High still with the puck and a close shot taken by Yider and it's saved up by Slazer. Yeah, team's getting a little more frustrated as this period progresses. Got uh, just under five to go, so we'll see if we can't get a little more. A little more adrenaline rolling in these guys here the last five of the second. Refs have backed off a little bit too, especially after that first period. There's a couple questionable calls that could have went. Questionable uh, non-calls as we exactly. say. Exactly. Letting them go. Yeah. Well, as, uh, as coaches and, you know, as you have a former, uh, former referee, you had a, you know, a first period that was called relatively tight and a second period where things have been uh, let go. How does that affect from a coaching perspective. Well, you like consistency, but you really don't like the refs to have a factor in the game. So as long as it's even up and down, I guess you're okay with it. Dow High. Good pressure from Dow here. And some screening in front of the Midland High net, but could not get a uh, quality shot. There's a nice job of keeping it in play by Austin Yider, but his shot was blocked by a Midland High defender. This time Johnson will keep it in play on the far side. Working over to Garrett Brillhart. Brillhart will send it down into the corner. Nice job there by Midland High's defense, not 
giving anything in the middle for the Dow High Chargers. They're going to line up and attempt to do it again. This time the shot from the left-hand side, and Slaver makes the glove save. Booza. Booza. Th that there was a situation that I had spoke about before the game, having that big ice compared to the small ice. Dow was able to set up on the perimeter, move the puck a lot, but they really weren't generating anything. Midland did a good job of just kind of containing, holding the outside. We'll take that shot all day. Easy save. And my goalie slip flat. Booza making the save. He's in net. He's the freshman for the Midland High Chemist. There's another save made by Luke Booza. Yeah, if he's going to grab everything he can, you know, the longer you keep this thing tight, you know, Midland High's going to have a better opportunity to win. This is the fourth game that Midland High has played. Liam Grady has started the first game. They've kind of alternated, so each goalie has started two games. I'm not sure if that is going to be Steve Witt's game plan for the season or if this is just a case of early on in the season trying to find out who your hot hand will be in net. Yeah, I think as the season progresses, you need to know who's going to be the hot hand going down the stretch. It's nice to have confidence in both goalies. Have, being able to have options is uh, definitely a good thing, especially early on. Jeremy Slaser, the senior in net for the Dow High Chargers, he's been in big games a time or two. Oh, absolutely. Mentions his name quite a bit the last few years. Just over three minutes to go from the left-hand side and almost a reflection. The puck is still loose. Kufa lost track of it after it went off of his upper chest. Great scoring chance for Casey LaRue for Midland High. Then the Kimmich had a chance to move it down ice and now they do with Tommy Pritchett, the senior, working the puck in the corner. Eight strike and Pritchard battling for it. Midland High unable to keep it into the Dow High zone, so they'll have to touch up, and Midland will do a line change. Gives the Chargers a chance to come up with a game plan here. There we go. Good chip by the D. Here's Matt Babinski going across the blue line. Babinski ducking it down to Sarine. Flames for making the save. Second shot, no good. Scoring chance for Midland. Slaves were blocking that first shot. Held on there just a little too long, got too tight. Yep, probably the best opportunity of the period. Both teams back and forth. I have a one on uh, the Dallas side, and then Midland was a good opportunity there. Good vision. Oh, we got a slash going up against Dow High, it looks like. But uh, good vision by Babinski to find the open trailer. The first penalty of the second period will, will end up fitting Tyler will end up fitting Brendan Sanders to the penalty box. Let's take a look at the replay. See, right now you get it, shoot it, you got a chance for a rebound. He's got a guy wide there, too. Oh, just missed oh. wide. Yep, good opportunity. A game of inches, as you mentioned, Vesey, just holding on that second too long makes not even a second, that half a second too half long. A second. Your goalie gets to set, they get to set. Midland High is going to take advantage here on this power play, at least gain some momentum, get things going in their direction. Got about two minutes left in the period, going to the third with some uh, some jump. Brendan Fanders with the guilty charger in the penalty box on a slashing call. Third, actually the fourth power play. At one time, Midland High had a very brief five on three advantage back in the first period. Cleared out by the uh, Dow High Chargers. Yeah, Midland High just not able to get into the zone and get set up at all. Dow doing a nice job clearing every time. Let's see if they can gain some speed here with Babinski. That's going to take it out. Babinski across the ice. Babinski going coast to coast, trying to skate it in, and Slaver will cover it up. And now a little extracurricular. Uh, Stuff. Again, Babinski, that time Garrett Brillhart and Babinski having uh, some issues with each other. Yeah. They know who he is, like we said. Keep nailed it on the head, get some speed. Just lost control of her right at the end and couldn't pull off the shot. Yeah, it was definitely a good job coming through the roots. So maybe next time if you can curl up, just hit some guys late, at least get set up and have a couple opportunities. A minute to go here in the second Whoa. period. 45 seconds remain in the Midland High power play. 
Midland High have got it in the zone. Chargers trying to clear it out and couldn't, but Midland not close enough to uh, take advantage of the uh, situation. Potential have to not play that because it would have been blown down for the high stick. Yeah, potential high stick ended up being waved off. Good hesitation there, and now we've got a penalty behind the play. And it's Nielsen's going to go for trip. And behind the play, Coach Witt will not be happy about that. Yeah, not very smart. Power play, take one in your own end. I, uh, I didn't see what happened there, but. So Cade, Cade Way Nielsen. behind the play. Yeah, the junior called for tripping, and that is going to even things up with 38 seconds to go. So it'll be four on four. And on a Olympic-sized rink, four on four really spreads things out. Should be some hockey, some exciting up and down, but only for about 20 seconds. So four on four for just a few seconds more. Midland High trying to clear it out of the zone before the Chargers go on the power play, but the Chargers will keep it in. Chargers with a shot, and Busa making the save. Lazy shot, Busa saves, and again, Rather it be just frustration or just, uh, you know, after a shot, normal hockey, how you doing stuff by the net. Well, I think they're getting a little impatient. They've gone the whole period without scoring. You know, they're just, just starting to get frustrated, but they, they, they need to kick it in, not after the whistle, but before. Final seconds of the second period. If the puck is dropped, the Dow High power play is done or the Dow High penalty is done, but now the Chargers are on a power play for the next 90 seconds. Only a few seconds left in the period. Shot taken there by Bayerjan. Off the net, last second shot won't get through. And the third, oh, here, oh, we, here go. we go. He's going after Booza. Yeah, Austin Yider and uh, and Luke Booza going after it. Yider is definitely going to end up Yider. Is that, is that Yider? 88? Yeah, Austin Yider. He's a sophomore, and he was not happy about something. I'm not sure if something happened involving uh, Luke Busa that we did not see, but Yider, as soon as that penalty ended, Yider immediately went after Busa and did so rather quickly. So the uh, I don't think Dow High is going to have a power play in the uh, third period. Obviously, I'm, I'm sure something will be called against Yider there, but I've got to wonder, uh, guys, if something happened that we did not see behind the play and... Uh, I didn't think Booza was involved with it, but I didn't see, I, I mean, the Dow High player did get kind of bumped down right after the whistle a little bit, and got up with some exception, but I'm not so sure why he went after Booza. Yeah, yeah me neither, I, I, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, but something, uh, Austin Yider was uh, upset about something, and he uh, was taking uh, frustration. So we, uh, right now, the officials talking to the Dow High captains. On, uh, I'm sure right now what, if any, penalty is going to be called. So we'll uh, we'll find that out during the uh, during the intermission. But the second period, for the most part, guys, was a second period that was played, uh, you know, back and forth. The other team really uh, gaining an advantage. Yeah, I mean, there was, there was no real steady pressure. It, it was in, take a shot, and back check. In, take a shot, back check. You didn't really any have any quality pressure, you know, for an established period of time. Right, and neither team really getting much shot wise. Dow High had nine shots, Midland High had five shots. All from the outer perimeter, too, for the most part. Yeah, a lot of perimeter stuff. Neither team establishing really any offense. It's uh, It seems like they're, they're really sitting back and playing very conservative. No one's really taking the initiative to, to get in and really start with that pressure. You know, if you get that down low pressure, create some chaos, that's when the opportunities come, and that's when you're able to, to pop some goals. Now, the second period has came to an end. It is one to one between the Chargers and the Kemets. We'll take a quick break, come back, and we'll find out if anybody's in the box or not and we'll uh, find out what the game plan is going to be for period number three when we return to the Park Place home rink here inside the Midland Civic Arena. At the end of two, we're all tied up one to one. You're watching High School Hockey on MPS TV.
We are back here at the Midland Civic Arena. The second intermission down. The ice is clean after Midland High Chemics make their way back onto the ice. Jason Harper along with Mike Vesna, Cody Kiefer, one to one. And at the end of the second period, a little bit of uh, action involving a. Uh, Austin Yeiter for Dow High and Luke Booza for the Midland High Chemex. Uh, let's take a look, guys. Take uh, the right hand side of your screen is what you want to watch. Nothing yet, nothing yet. Well, we okay. see him get knocked down. Right there, right on the, uh, the side of your screen. It wasn't Booza that. It appeared to be, uh, well, that appeared to be Noah, Noah Eller. Noah Eller knocked him down. So, again, uh, so why right. he was mad at Booza, we just don't know. Right. He was, yeah, just bypasses Eller right there and goes straight after yeah. Booza. Yeah, Yeider was definitely knocked down. There was no doubt about that. But, uh, you know, the, the question of whether or not maybe he thought that it was uh, the Booza that, that did it. But Yider had, uh, I guess, a legitimate reason for being upset if he was knocked down from somebody. He may have taken out the frustration on the on the wrong person. Well, you when, don't when know what might have happened 30 seconds before then, too. When are we going to get the uh, the Mike Vesna uh, head? Eh. That's just an idea. Just an idea. There were a couple of penalties dished out at the end of the uh, second period. Austin Yider got a, a two-minute penalty for slashing, and Luke Bootha got a two-minute penalty for uh, unsportsmanlike conduct. So I say there must be a little more to the story than the camera caught. I am guessing, however, we've got five on four. That is not what it should be. Offsetting penalties. Yeah, coincidental. Yeah, but they were on even coincidental because we already had a power play. Looks like they're discussing now, too. So we'll, we'll find out. There's, uh, and there's nobody in the uh, box for uh, Dow High except for one person. Something seems off. Well, they're going to escape five on four, so they'll need a penalty before he can come, or a, a whistle before he can come out anyway. So it's still a, a power play for the Dow High Chargers as the third period is underway. Dow High, John, actually that's Shane A-Strike, sent it over to Joey Johnson, but the shot and the save made by uh, Luke Buza. It almost uh, looked like a strike jumped out of the way there yep. instead of trying to screen. Same thing, just, just parting of the seas there. Who's just able to see every shot? And he's proven tonight that he does make the saves that he can see. Dow has been pretty effective on their faceoffs as well. They've, they've won a lot, especially on these power plays. Johnson. Working to his right hand side. Johnson will get it back at the uh, top. Feeding it over to his left. Sanders will give it back to Johnson. Going to the right hand side. Skating it in a little bit in the uh, save made by Booza. Again, looked like uh, wide open. Saw it the whole way. Making it easy for him. When the puck comes up top, Dow High, and that uh, they're kind of rolling into an umbrella. That lane on the half wall, once they move it down, is wide open. If, if uh, Dow can start attacking that, I think they could generate a couple good chances. Get the Brett Hall one timer. There you go. Kept in play by Byerjan on the far side. First minute of the third period, play down in the Midland High zone. Chargers have about. 15 seconds left in their power play. Johnson's shot took a bounce up front. Puck is still loose. Dow High still in control. Goes back to Johnson. He feeds it over to the left hand side. Blasey will center it up and hits his own defender in the front of the net. Yeah, but at least he was doing a good job screening Boozer right there. The penalty is over for Midland High, so we are even strength. Yider remains in the box. He'll have to wait for a whistle. And about 30 seconds from now before he can return to action. Somewhat surprisingly, they are not making anybody serve the penalty on Busa. Well, because they kept let us skate five on four, they're going to have to wait for a whistle before Dow can get their player back anyway, so nobody necessarily has to come out of the box. Midland High 
We'll have the puck knocked away. Nice defensive play by Casey LaRue. In front of the Dow High bench, and he'll go into the Dow High zone. Dow High have outshot Millen High by uh, right around 10 uh, shots during the course of the first two periods. LaRue will center it up over to Sanders. Sanders can't hold on to it. There's oh. a shot and a goal. A shade, a strike, the junior from the right hand side. A strike breaking the tie. Looks like he got left all alone right out in the high slot. Got it. Didn't hold on to it. Yep. Shoot quick, it right away. Definitely quick release. Got the shot off. A little bit of traffic. Looked like a guy was swinging through in front. Just beat him, blocker side. Yeah, I mean, it's a, a strike, did, or uh, Booza didn't see it the whole way. Let's take a look. That kind of fed by Sanders to a strike, and just he, a, he didn't hold on to it. He, he got it and got rid of it. A little traffic in front. Booza not seeing it cleanly. Yep, might have been screened by his own defenseman there, too. Yeah, I was thinking that Witt might have helped uh, help screen a little. And another shot taken by Dow High. Casey LaRue will get a assist on the Shane A strike goal for the Dow High Chargers. Hey Shane, we're gonna move you to defense. That doesn't matter, I'll still score. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> a strike was the top scorer for the Dow High Chargers last year. And he's picking up where he left off this year as well. Dow High with a two to one lead after the shot by A strike. Dow High working down court. I believe that may have been Flint taking the shot. The Dow High Chargers have the potential. They can run three lines if needed. And that's a uh, that's something nice to be able to have if you're a if you're a coach, guys, be able to go three lines deep. Well, yeah, the last five, six minutes of this game, if he's been running his three lines, they should be able to still hammer down and if need be go to two lines with fresh legs. Lacey trying to get rid of the puck. And we're going to have a icing call. Yep, not real crisp, clean passes here so far. No, Dal High was definitely controlling action, controlling the puck that shift, though. Making it tough on Midland to gain anything. All the penalties have been completed. Yider's out of the box after serving his two minutes. Dow High leading two to one. Luke Blazy scoring in the first period. And just a few moments ago, Shane A strike with a Dow High goal. Midland's lone goal was by Nathan Witt, and that was back in the first period. Midland with a nice turn, or uh, taking a turnover. Babinski with the shot, Slaver making the save. Yep, wide open, saw it the whole way. With Dow High having such great success on the faceoffs. It's not even a case where Midland High wants to go down and try to you know, get these faceoffs, but they need to come up with some draws here down the stretch. Back into neutral life. Only momentarily if Tyler Pritchett will keep it into play. Now the Dow High Chargers will send it down into the Midland High zone. Luke Blasey with the puck, but loses the handle on it, goes back to Pritchett. Tyler goes across the blue line and sends a bouncing puck towards Jeremy Slaver, who will gobble it up. One goal lead, you definitely don't want to see the turnovers at the blue lines. You gotta try to get that puck deep, so you're forechecking instead of back checking right there. Exactly, one turnover and they can go the other way quick. 12.44 on the clock here in the third period. Our first game of the winter season here on MCTV and MPS TV. We've got basketball coming up in a couple of weeks. And then wrestling in January and then basketball and hockey coming your way in February. All these games produced by MCTV staff aided by about a dozen volunteers. And we've got a whistle and a hand pass. If you're just tuning in and you want to watch this game in its entirety, you can watch it on a Charter Communications channel or on AT&T's U-verse. Game times will be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 8 o'clock in the morning, 8 o'clock in the evening. 
And then early next week, you'll be able to check this game in high definition on the Midland Public School YouTube channel. So many ways to watch it. You can watch it on Charter, UVerse, or YouTube. Right now, the Dow High Chargers skating across the blue line. Sanders taking a shot from the right-hand side. Dow High keeping it in play. Getting a bounce off of the glass. Shot got a weird reflection there, but stays clear of uh, the Midland High net. Kimmick's trying to clear oh. it out. Can't. Sanders keeping it in play, but Sanders' shot goes high. Golden chance. Now centering it up to Joey Johnson. Another bounce off of the boards. Dow High Sanders trying to keep it in play for the Dow High Chargers. Midland High trying to clear it out, and they finally send it down the ice, and icing is going to be called. Yeah, they just needed to take a break, get some fresh legs out there, but that definitely, Dow High was stepping up the pressure a little bit. High school hockey on MCTV, Jason Harper, Alongside with Northwood hockey coaches Mike Vesna and Cody Kiefer, Al Richards providing stats for us here tonight. Shot taken by A Strike goes up and over the Midland High net. Rebound shot and a goal by the Dow High Chargers. The rebound is successful. Looks like Carter Bean, right place, right time, maybe here. Yeah, good bounce off the back wall. It kind of shot out there pretty good, right to him. He's another senior on this Midland High team as Carter Bean able to take advantage of the rebound. And the Dow High Chargers have a two goal lead with just over 11 minutes to go here in the third period. Yeah, watch him waste no time. That puck right up to him, just a one-timer and in. Oh, there's a little chip there. Nope. Assist number eight. Well, they're gonna give Austin Yeider an assist on that. And a strike will also get an assist. Midland High coming back the other direction with a shot from the right-hand side. Uh-oh. Cleared out through Midland High, trying to go around Matt Babinski. We got a penalty coming as Midland High, Cade Nielsen taking the shot. Now it's cleared out by the Dow High Chargers. Penalty is going to be coming against Dow High. And it's going to be a roughing call. Shane A strike, I believe. He was going to head to the uh, penalty box. Well, Midland High really needed that one in a big way. Babinski trying the wrap, didn't quite have it, and then the uh, wide open net rebound couldn't get put home either. Couldn't find the open spot. Good block by the Dow High defenseman. Ten and a half minutes to go. A strike in the penalty box. The Midland High Chemics will have a power play, but Midland High have struggled on the power play during the course of the night. They need to get oh. something going here. How about right now? It's blocked away. Nice job by Garrett Brillhart. Midland looking to set something up. The Chargers with a three to one lead and Sanders will come away with the steal. Sanders feeding it to Casey LaRue. LaRue's shot, kick save made by Booza. Dow High will regroup if they try to kill off yet another penalty. The power killing team for the Dow High Chargers has looked pretty good. Yeah, Midland High is not able to get much pressure, not nothing established in their attacking zone. And we've got a penalty and a hooking a hook. call. Five on three, Midland is Midland uh, High has to capitalize on this. Is that one again? No, oh, like, that's no, against they went Midland. The other way. Yeah, they're gonna call uh, they're gonna call Noah Eller. Again, not a good time for that penalty. So Eller takes away the Midland High power play, so we'll be four on four. Yeah, it looked like Midland High was breaking out. Next thing you know, whistle stops play. Yeah, I thought that was on Dow. Now nothing will uh, stop a power play like a penalty will, and there's a shot taken by Johnson, and a glove save made by Busa. Face-off, one by the Chargers again. Johnson hesitating, tried to feed it over, looking uh, maybe for Yider again, but Midland High will clear things out down to the far side. Looked like an icing that Slazer played, so nullified it. 
Good four check. John Fiddle trying to skate it and stopped by Midland High. Kemix Babinski had it briefly, had that puck taken away. Puck sitting behind the net, but the Dow High Chargers able to come away with it. Four on four for the next 35 seconds. Dow High across the line and a long shot into the breadbasket of Luke Buza. And yeah, Midland High is going to have to step it up, being down two goals here. You know, four on four, good opportunity to have some open ice attack before you have to go on to the penalty kill. Yeah, they got to start taking some chances, generate something here in these last nine minutes. Across the blue line, go the Midland High Kimmich. Chargers taking the puck right back. At some point, if you guys have alluded to, there's going to be a, you know, Midland High's going to have to roll the dice and gamble to try to even things up. They're down two goals with 8.40 to go here in the third period. And they're about to be a man down. Chargers out of the penalty box, so it is now a down high power play for the next 40 seconds. Down high with one power play goal already tonight. That was back in the first period. This one is deflected off of the uh, skate of Midland High's Tanner Squires and hits the ceiling here at the uh, Civic Arena. Yeah, Midland got 25 seconds to kill this penalty off, and they're going to have to start getting some pucks on net and get some traffic. Face-off will be won by the Chargers. Joey Johnson across the blue line. Johnson oh. centers it up. It was that hit, hit in by a Midland High player? It sure was. Tommy Pritchett. Well, we'll wait to find out who gets credit for that goal, but if I'm not mistaken, I think Tommy Pritchett may have put it into his own net. Tried intercepting the pass. I don't know if he kind of looked like he almost shot at it. Well, let's, let's look at this, guys. Trying to center it up. I guess we could uh, give the uh, give credit to the goal to the the player that behind the. Looks like Johnson's Johnson, going to get credit yeah. with the shot. Yeah, yeah, just tried to clear it and ended up going in. Beautiful tip. Assist, Beautiful six. tip. So Joey Johnson will get credit for the down high goal that may have been put in uh, the Midland High, uh, not by a Midland High player. Yep, now definitely Midland High going to have to kick it in here. Four to one now in favor of the Dow High Chargers. 7.40 to go here in the third period. Chargers coming out in the third period on fire, breaking a 1-1 tie and adding a couple of goals on top of that. Doesn't take the wind out of the sails of Midland here. They got nothing to lose, so they just got to get well, going and... Take some chances. Absolutely, you got the face off in the attacking zone, win a draw, get a puck on net. Definitely get some traffic for some rebounds. Now this may be the chance that Midland High needs after the icing call, the face off will be down in the Dow High zone. 724, still plenty of time. But you gotta get shots before you can worry about scoring. You got to win some draws if you're going to get back in this game, though. Yeah, keep going back to those. Uh, Dow High is definitely dominating in the faceoff circle. Here's a turnover, and Dow High, Shane A strike skating in. Buzo will make a kick save. Puck remains free. Millen High's K. Nielsen trying to work it out from behind the net. Noah Eller trying to clear it out well, but it took a while. Finally, it's cleared out. Tommy Pritchett. Trying to get by the uh, defending of Jared Zahn. And the Dow High Chargers, again, Midland High had, you know, a very brief opportunity. Now the Chargers come the other way. Zach Sepke is going to feed it back to Jared Zahn. The puck loose briefly, and Buzo will come up with the save. Now yeah, when Midland High one and done on their shots, and then they're back checking. Got to try to establish some pressure. When your third line can come in for Dow High and get a quality scoring chance, you're, you've got a pretty good hockey team. Yep, definitely. 
Dick Lazy running his lines right now. He's got a comfortable lead. I think he's, he's definitely, you know, keep the pressure on. No Char sense laying back. Chargers coming into this game ranked number 10 in Division II. Both of these teams undefeated before tonight. Babinski's that will change. In. Here's a chance for Babinski, but Slater goes out of his net. Slater's going to get a penalty. Yeah, there's got to be something there. We've got a penalty coming up, and it is going to be Jared Slater. No, we got a we got, got a hooking hook. call. Oh, I thought they were going to get Slater for the, uh, the little rough after the play shot, was done. Shot to the chin. Yeah. Yeah. Instead, they're going to uh, go with the hook. Yeah. So. Joey Johnson is going to be the one that will sit in the penalty box. Hooking is going to be the call on the junior. Well, well, Dow High's trying to gift wrap uh, power play opportunities. They're giving them the chances. All right, let's watch this replay right here. Coming attack. Well, it looked a little worse live, I guess. But the penalty was already called before that even happened. Yeah. He's in foot race. Again, the Chargers coming out and winning the faceoff, and now Brendan Sanders will have the puck for the Dow High Chargers on the near side, fitting it behind the Midland High goalie. Six minutes to go in this contest. Dow High leading four to one. Midland High on the power play. Nathan Wood, he's got the only Midland High goal. He's skating the, with the puck right now. Feeds it over to Sarine, and the shot by Sarine takes a bounce off of the boards. Midland High trying to set something up on the power play, trying to center it, but a strike will send it down the other direction. And again, only one shot on goal. That trip down for the Midland High gimmick. Yeah, and 15, 20 seconds later, they'll get another opportunity, but... They did a better job using speed through the neutral zone, at least gaining the zone, setting something up, and getting some movement. This time in the battle, Travis Grimaldi was trying to get that puck away and could not do it into neutral ice it goes. And we've got 40 seconds that remain in the power play for the Midland High Kimmich. Pritchett, Tyler working the puck. Nice move there. Passes it around. Backhand shot by Tommy. The Tyler to Tommy connection nearly worked from the blue line. That one will not get through. Blocked by the defender. And then Yider will send it all the way around the opposite direction. And that will pretty much end the power play as the Dow High Charger seconds away out of the net. And now it's even strength with just over four minutes to go. Shot taken by Babinski. Rebound there by Pritchett, but ends up being stopped. Slater standing tall. He's only given up one goal. That was back in the first period. Charger, Brendan Sanders, the senior, one of the unspoken uh, men on this Dow High team that does a lot that may not get a lot of necessary goals and a shot taken by John Byerjan goes into Boosa's breadbasket. Just dangled himself in the corner there. I think he went through three guys straight to the corner. Yep. There's a couple of players on uh, Dow High, Brendan Sanders, Joey Johnson. They do a lot of the setup for the Dow High Chargers. Yeah, they got good vision out there, seeing the open guys. Clear down. And worked back the other direction. 3.30 to go. Dow High with a three-goal lead. Foot race will be won by Midland. Casey LaRue will dump it into the zone. Chargers, LaRue trying to get the puck back. Now will center it up to Joey Johnson. Backhand shot taken by Newton. Centers it up again. Spin shot by Yider. Dow High kind of just throwing things at the net, and now Midland High will come across. Nice check there by Garrett Brohart. Yeah, nice, nice hip check. 
Well, thought there was going to be an odd man opportunity for Dow here. Casey LaRue looking to beat the man. Who, nice centering pass and a shot in the goal. Joey Johnson with the goal, but Will Hart with a beautiful pass. I think you were just talking about how those guys see the ice and set each other up. You know, we're thinking, man, kick on the afterburners and try to go for it. Let's take a look, gentlemen. He was looking for the trailer all the way. Yeah, good job by Johnson following up the play. All Midland puck focus. No one picks up the late guy coming in. And that was a beautiful pass. Yep. But as Keith said, three guys, three blues, staring at the guy with the puck. Nobody picking up the trailer. That's the second goal of the game for Joey Johnson. Again, Garrett Brohart had the great pass. Johnson in the right place doing his job. And the Dow High Chargers now leading 5-1 to one with two and a half minutes to go. And this game was even after two periods. But the third period, all Dow High. Yeah, Dow doing a great job just clearing. I mean, it's very seldom does Midland High have a second opportunity when they're in their zone. And with two minutes left in this game, now we're at a point. We got a penalty coming up and a roughing call that I believe is going to go against Carter Bean. And uh, now, now we've now uh, we've got Tyler Pritchett that just got called. Yeah, he was. Uh... Carter Carter Bean called for the roughing initially, and then Pritchett with the unsportsmanlike call, and that is, uh, and that is just something that. Uh, that is tough, you know, with, with two minutes to go, you had a, a chance at a power play, but yeah, you wanted to get a, a few words in and you end up with a non-sportsman like. Yeah, I mean, the four goal lead, the game's pretty much in hand now anyway, but nonetheless, you still get to work on your power play you know, early on. So instead of five on four power play, we're still skating five on five. So coincidentals will stay five on five in high school hockey. Centering it up and Slater comes up with the save. That was a good play by Rubinsky. Driving the lane, created an opportunity, and they had a rebound. They, they needed to do more of that the entire game. Yeah, great scoring opportunity. They were not one and done. Well, at this point of the contest, if you're both coaches, now, now you want to go into the point where, you know, Dow High is going to come away with the win unless something really unusual happens. So you just don't want anything crazy to happen. You don't want to lose a player for a game. You, you just want to skate the, net, the last two minutes of this game with good, clean hockey. Yeah, as we found out earlier, you don't get uh, kicked out for one game. You get kicked, kicked out for two. I think is the call. Again, this game produced by MCTV staff and volunteers. If you want to uh, find out how you can become an MCTV volunteer, all you have to do is call 837-3474. You can also head online to City of Midland MI slash MCTV. Find out all the uh, information. Become an MCTV volunteer. You can work on a production such as this. Uh, if you got an ear for music, you can help out on some symphony showcases, all kinds of uh, productions by MCTV. 90 seconds to go before the Chargers can officially celebrate here in a home game for Dow High. This is a non-Valley game. The league game will be taking place in early February. Offsides? Apparently so. Linesmen weren't uh, ready for this game to continue rolling. Oh, Joe Knapp and Dougie Cook said, let's slow this down for one more minute. Chargers have dominated the faceoff most of the night. Alec Newton. Oh, they tried to keep it in play oh, yeah. in the zone, could not do it, but Midland could not take advantage of the, uh, of the situation. Under a minute to go from the blue line, a strike shot is uh, stopped by Booza. That was just keeping three guys back right now, trying to contain the neutral zone, chip it out, and wind down these last few seconds. Isaac Daniel for Midland battling for the puck, now working over to Nielsen. Nielsen's shot goes high up over top of Slazer, 30 seconds to go. Dow High will clear it out of their own zone. 
And icing called with 18 seconds to go. The Dow High Chargers will go to 5 0 on the season with the victory tonight. Midland High will drop down to 3 1, but so early in the season that this was more of a game of, of you know, you're still looking to figure out who you want on what line. You're looking to figure out, you know, who's going to step up, who's not going to step up. So, really, for both coaches, this is just a, a game to evaluate talent. Absolutely, and you got to look at film. You got to decide, you know, which guys are, are the real players, which guys need some work on different things. More importantly, yeah, a lot of practice time left to correct any problems. Final seconds ticking down here in the contest, and the puck dropped behind the Midland High bench, and now the official celebration is underway if the Dow High Chargers come away with a 5-1 to one victory over the Midland High Chemex. The first period very even, both teams scoring one goal. Nothing changed in a back and forth second period, but the third period, gentlemen, all Dow High from the get-go. Chargers came out of the locker room on fire, and they end up scoring four unanswered goals in the third period to come away with a five to one win. Yeah, that was a good third period by Dow. They came out, they got pucks deep, created some opportunities, and were able to put a few home. Yeah, I think uh, Dow got that, that goal, and they just kept building on it. They finally got their, their legs going a little bit, going up and down the ice, getting some good scoring opportunities. Midland High, I mean, tip your hat to them. For 40, 45 minutes, they kept this a one-goal game, just not enough depth to carry this through all 54 minutes or however many they play in this league anymore. Exactly, and uh, you know, Jeremy Slazer, who, who needs a shirt in a hockey rink? Jeremy, <laughs> Jeremy, uh, Jeremy Slazer played great for the Dow High Chargers in that the you know, one goal given up by uh, Nathan Witt in the first period, but other than that, Slazer stood tall. Yeah, I think he's one of the main reasons this thing stayed 1-1 for so long. He definitely had a good game, but um, I think Dow saw too that he was making easy saves. They were outside shots, parting the seas as we keep saying, but you know, if the goalie can see the shot, the goalie of that, that caliber, he's gonna make the save. Well, let's take a look at uh, the officials wrap things up with the Dow High coaching staff. Let's take a look at some highlights from uh, the contest here tonight. There is, uh, that was goal, that's how things started. Goal number one from Luke Blazy. Yep, nice pick in the upper corner. Midland High got on net, or on, on the board. Nathan Witt. That's a good job there, Witt coming in late, being able to pick that up and put it through traffic. And then the third period, Shane A strike. You see how quick he got rid of that puck too. Never gave Booz a chance to get over in there, set it up. He got it, shot it, got rewarded. Three minutes later, Carter Bean. It's a good place by, uh, play by Ida there behind the net. Got around first of the puck, chip it out in front, good goal. And then the uh, the oopsie goal is coming up next. We'll give credit to Joey Johnson. That one assisted by Midland. Hey, I tell you what, how many times do you hear? Throw it on the net. You throw it on the net, good things happen. And then the uh, final goal of the contest coming with the uh, 244 mark. The great uh, pass from Brillhart and then Joey Johnson. Falling up the play, no one knows he's there. Good look, good goal. Yep, but like you said, Keith, three Midland Chemics. Puck watching, nobody looking for the trailer. Yep. Shots on goal for this game. Dow High out shooting Midland High 36 to 19 during the uh, course of this contest. But, you know, Dow High showing why they're ranked in the top 10 in Division Two. They, you know, they stuttered a little bit, had a little bit, you know, in the second period where they uh, hesitated a little bit. But, you know, that third period, Dow High coming out and saying, this is what Charger hockey is. Well, I think Dick Blazy said it right. You know, we want a fast pace. They finally picked it up. I mean, Midland High was able to slow things down just like Coach Witt wanted for, you know, a good 40, 45 minutes. But, you know, good teams find a way to score, and Dow High did. For the Midland High gimmicks, Cody, Steve Witt, you know, have something to look forward to. This is a Midland High team that, you know, even though you lost by four goals, there's a lot that... Steve can take away from this game. There are a lot of positives for Midland High. Yeah, something to build on. Like you said, they did a good job for about the first 40, 45 minutes. They uh, they were able to contain the speed from Dow, so they did a good job there, and they can definitely build on it. Being a fairly young team, not many seniors, they uh, they can take a look at this and then continue to build early on in the season, plenty of time. And by the time February rolls around, we're going to see two much improved teams 
here at the uh, Civic Arena for the uh, second matchup. Uh, again, in a couple of moments, you're going to see several names come across your television screen. If you get a chance, if you know any of those names that are going to come across, thank them for becoming an MCTV volunteer. Ask them how you can become an MCTV volunteer. And you know, this broadcast to high school sports here on MCTV would not be possible without the help of our volunteers. And, of course, I couldn't do it without the help of you two guys. So, uh, Cody Kiefer, your first time in the broadcast booth. Thank you. And, of course, you know, Bevy, this is, uh, I don't know, year, uh, you know. Lots. 25, 30 years that we've been uh, up here in the broadcast booth. Lots of them. A lot of All fun. Good ones. Very difficult. It's a little, it's more <laughs> difficult than I expected. So. Very good. Very good. We thank you for tuning in here on MCTV and MPFTV. The Dow High Chargers coming away with a 5-1 to one win over their crosstown rivals here at the Civic Arena. For Cody Kiefer and Mike Vesna, my name is Jason Harper. Thank you for watching High School Hockey on MCTV.